Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Dragon's Dogma 2. And I'm going to talk about the plant updates that they are going to do in the future. So for the guys that saw my first video, I refunded this game. Uh, so very simple, why? Because I couldn't restart the game. So I was planning to make a couple of characters because I wanted to make a text file. How is the, the height influencing the, the carry capacity, the stamina and all that stuff with real numbers. And then I realized that you cannot restart the game or you need to start doing uh, deleting save games and all that stuff. But I'm not going to do that because I don't pay 64 euros for a game and then I need to do that stuff. So guess what? They are going to add now an option to start a new game when save data already exists. So I was not the only one that thought that was a really big problem. Uh, so I'm very happy that they are going to do that. Under that video, I had a lot of guys that said to me, yeah, but Shamino, three hours later in the game, you can buy an item, you can change your character as many times if you want. Uh, so I already know that when I made video number one, but that's not really true what they said. Uh, there is a lot of misinformation going around. And the thing is, why is that not true? Because the item, the art of metamorphosis, you only can buy two of them in that shop. Therefore, now in the future, they are going to bring it to 99. So that was once again misinformation. I'm really happy that I didn't do it. Because if I play three or four hours further until the city, and on that moment I realized that I can only change two times my character, I was fucked again, and I couldn't refund anymore the game. So the misinformation, and I saw a couple of guys reading that misinformation too. I'm not sure why they said it, uh, but it's a little bit this game, I think. So another thing, why did they do it? Very simple. So you got in this game a microtransaction that you can buy for, I think, two euros, and then you can change your appearance right away. That's why they did this stuff. They are not going to say that. But I'm very happy that with my video and a lot of other people, they need to change that. So what was the plan that they wanted to do with that microtransaction? I'm only talking about that one. I didn't look to the other one. So you start a new game like a lot of people do. You don't know what is coming in that game. Uh, because I never played Dragon Dogma 1. So you start the 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 game and you think by yourself fuck you get your uh, first bow you think by yourself i want to change over that was not possible on that moment i thought because i saw right away the microtransaction this i can buy to change my avatar you can buy it and you can change it uh, really quick and that was what they wanted to do because you can put this guy that sells the art of metamorphosis items, you can put them in the first village too on the inn, but they didn't do that. So that was a very dirty approach that they did. Uh, I was not really happy with it. I know that already for a couple of days. So with this was only in the game to let you buy the, 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 the character chains that you can change it again. But now they need to come back and I'm very happy that they got all the, the feedback. I cannot say it feedback, but I'm very happy that a lot of people said to them, here it stops, you fix that problem because you are doing very dirty games here. And that's what they did. So the pressure worked, they are going to fix that problem. The next one, making the quest that allows players to acquire their own dwelling. Uh, that's good. I, I'm not sure what that is because I refunded the game. The other ones are fixes. Updates for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series. Adding the options to switch motion blur on and off in options. I, I think they want to fix the, the performance issues that this game got. Adding the options to switch rate tracing on and off in options. Adding the options to set frame rate to either variable on max 30 FPS in options. Updates for Steam, improving quality when DLS DLSS super resolution is enabled and then a fixing. But the first two are the most important for me. I think this one is already, I think, uh, a lot of the negative reviews. So uh, I'm very happy that, that they changed it. 
if we didn't say this was a problem, they never changed it. I know that. Uh, they did a very, very dirty approach with this game, I need to say. I never saw that. Uh, but they are going to change it, and I'm very happy. Thanks for watching, guys. Have fun, and I see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.